Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a histogram with pandas. It's going to be very simple um, and it's the only package you need. What a histogram is going to allow us to do on our employee data set, which has a number of details such as hours work, salary, department, and reviews, is allow us to answer some questions about the frequency and distribution of the data. What is the relative frequency of monthly hours worked by employees? What is the distribution of hours worked by employees? Is there some variation of hours worked based on salary? And what future predictions or assumptions can be made? So the first thing I did is imported pandas and saved it as a variable PD. Use the read CSV function that's a part of the pandas library and we can initialize that with our PD variable and read in the HR data set, which is hrfile.csv. Then looked at the top five rows of the data after we saved that to our variable DF. Now that we have that data frame variable, we can call the head function. So we want to answer these questions and it looks like monthly hours is where we want to isolate our data. We can easily isolate that data, and I'm going to create a few more cells by pressing the plus. Now we can isolate the column for monthly hours, and our column is monthly hours, so we just create bracket notation by creating the brackets and passing in the string, which represents our column, monthly hours. Now that we have that isolated, we can use the dot .hist function which represents histogram to create a histogram. So let's press shift and enter. Now we have a histogram. There are a lot of options here for the histogram so we can press shift tab to see what we can alter. We can alter colors and rotations but it's a histogram. The most important thing you want to be able to alter is the bins. So we can pass it the bins and let's say we increase our bins to 50. Now you can see a different representation of that data. So what questions can be answered? We know that the majority of data is spread pretty well across. The, the mean is around 200. We can see the highest frequency of data is around 150. And we can see the shape of the data, which is a distribution, is not very normally distributed because we can see some of the data is not symmetrical around the mean. However, we do see uh, the extremes at the end and the majority of the data in the middle. We can also alter the Transparency with alpha. I'm going to set my alpha at five. We can also change the figure size. And our figure size, we need a tuple, which you represent as a parentheses. And I'm going to do an eight by four. We can also change the rotations of our x axis with the x rot. And you can see all of this just by sh using the shift tab to bring in the arguments that you can have. And I'm going to say I want that at a 45 degree angle and we can run that. So now you can see you got have a different histogram there. You can also remove the grids, false. So there's a lot of options here. Oop, false, spell. F there we go. The next thing that's really cool with this is you can create a histogram by some categorical variable. And that's going to answer our question, how is monthly hours according to salary? But right now in this column, we do not have salary. So let's isolate both of these. So I'm just going to copy to save some time, go to the next line, the monthly hours. But I also want to isolate salary and right now this is not acceptable because we need to pass it a list and a list is two or more so we can just encapsulate that in brackets once we have that as our isolated columns we can use the hist function again in this case we want to use by 
And then what do we want to create the histogram by? Salary. And I'm just going to run that as it is to give you an idea of what it looks like. So you see you're able to get three histograms. If you want to eliminate this information, you can just put a semicolon and now you can just see the histograms. So what can we tell from this? We can see that the frequency of medium and low salary has a higher amount of employees that work around that 140 to 50 hour range because we can see from my Y label. We can see that the distribution of hours worked is a little bit more evenly dis distributed. So what does that tell us about the future? It tells us that our most of our low and low and medium salary workers are going to have some extremes around 140 and to some degree around the 250 range while our new hires that are have a high salary we can can work at any one of these hours from 150 to 250 so that's just a quick and easy way to use a histogram just using pandas